First thing you want to do is gently wash your rose petals and make sure that they are organic. You don't want anything non-organic on your face. For ingredients, you're going to need sugar. I'm using white sugar here. You can also use organic raw brown sugar. Rose petals, make sure they're dry. Organic rose oil, organic argan oil. Or for this, you can also use a base such as coconut oil or grapeseed oil are both really amazing. Note that your rose petals must be dry. Your scrub will last longer if they are. I like to dry mine organically. I just place them outside in the sun and the sun does the work for me, you know, so they got that good energy. This DIY organic face rose scrub is really simple to make. I really love it. So you want to first mix your oils so you can add a few drops of argan oil or again your choice of base oil. I just went ahead and finished this bottle because it was almost empty. You don't have to be like really exact and precise about your measurements. And then you want to add a few drops of rose oil. Three to four drops is okay. You don't have to be excessive because rose oil is a lot more potent. The same applies if you're adding a few drops of, let's say, lavender oil. It's really strong, so you just want to go light on that. You know, a few drops is plenty. But with your base oil, you do want to add quite a few. And you'll see, because once I start mixing this, you want that consistency of your, of your scrub. You want to mix your oils together, give it a little stir, and then you want to mix your oils in with your sugar. So again, depending on the amount of scrub that you are making, you will have to adjust the amount of oil that you use, of course. And so I'm not using exact measurements here. Like I said, you can just adjust. It's not that hard. <laughs> You will always have to use more base oil than, you know, the ro rose oil in this recipe. So mix until you get a consistency as I am going to show you. It is going to feel oily or it should feel oily, but not too oily. So when you use this scrub for your face or for your body, you know, you're going to use water along with it. Let's say you use it for your face, you want to apply water on your face first, then you gently scrub the scrub into your face, and then you wash it off with water. Same thing applies to your body, and so the water is going to have, it's going to help activate this more. As you can see, this is the texture that you want it to be like. It's a little oily, but again, not too oily. Easy to apply and scrub that sugar onto your skin because, you know, the sugar is, is going to work as an exfoliator. And so you need that oil to be able to scrub it in gently onto your skin.
The very last thing you'll need to do is cut up your dry rose petals into tiny pieces and you mix those in with your scrub and you don't want to add too many rose petals because then it's just a ton of rose petals. You know, you, you want a good balance and again, no exact measurement for this, but as you can see, I'm adding a good amount of rose petals. Here is your final product. It is done. It should smell very beautiful. And now you can transfer it into a closed container. I like to use glass and I like to store it somewhere dark. And yeah, there it is. Super amazing. I love to use argan oil or grapeseed oil when I make rose scrub because it has many soothing benefits to your skin. And then the sugar helps exfoliate your skin. I love it you know gently applying it to my face or as a body scrub and the rose the rose is beautiful you know most high vibrational flower it has many antibacterial properties for your skin so i hope you enjoy this diy stay connected and subscribe